What up YouTube? Ed Weskergriff coming back with a mail day recap video. Have three packages from fellow YouTubers to crack on open. Uh, the first one is from Mike O. Then we got one from Scotty Aranya, Aranya Boys. And then we have a box here, priority mail two-day box coming from Robert, Little Mr. Hardcore. So some really cool stuff to go over. Looking forward to cracking those on open. As you can see in the background, there is a Project 2020 card number 42, Wesker Griff. Met up with Mike O yesterday to pick up my SGC order curbside service. And Mike hooked me up with this really cool Christmas gift. He got a custom made, you guys will know these cards, uh, JT Triple Crown 24 was making these Project 2020 customs. And he made one of me. So here is mine. Wesker Griff with the Game of Thrones with the Iron Throne back there. Looks pretty cool. The shades. I wore the shades at the National in Chicago when I got my picture taken by PSA. So kind of a homage to that. So really, really cool. It's the back. Card number 42. JTA, you do a cool job with these cards. Been loving seeing the customs. Always crack up myself when I see them. So uh, now I can put this next to the Griffey Shore, the, the iceberg. So that is really, really cool. So thank you, Mike, and thank you, JT, for doing the custom. It was really sweet. And now I got a couple cards that I actually got in a live sale from Mike. And honestly, it's pretty bad. I completely forgot I even bought these cards, which wouldn't be the first time that has happened to me. But here we go. We have this Topps Chrome Allen and Ginter of Baseball Brit. So, <laughs> uh, that one's kind of a head scratcher on why I picked that one up. Probably was investing hard in Baseball Brit cards at the time. Then we have a Baltimore Orioles opening day mascot card. The Oriole Bird from 2011 opening day mascot card. So mascot cards are the way to go for serious investments. We have from 2013 Dinger for the Colorado Rockies. An incredible card. There's another incredible one from 2015. Mascot Dinger. Then we have, I should probably get this graded, the Oregon Duck from Panini Prism. Could probably, in a Gem Mint 10, that could probably fetch a couple hundred, no doubt. Wouldn't put it past the current market. And the final card here, oh, what's this doing in here? This card's out of place. This is from Bowman Chrome. Looks like one of the Megas exclusives. We have Kyle Tucker or the artist formerly known as Filmington. So that's pretty cool. Kyle Tucker's really out of place there, but some nice, nice cards. So thank you, Mike, appreciate that. And now let's get into these care packages. So the first one here is coming from Scotty Aranya, Aranya Boys. Got some cool Spider-Man stickers on here. So rip this on open. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> that is awesome. He enclosed the photo from the last Philly show that we went to. So, Scotty Aranya's right there. Mike Go, myself, Ray from Chile, Triple B, and Cesar, the Philly Cesar, uh, Phil's fan. That is cool. That was the last Philly show. That was in February of 2020 i really really missed the philly show and i'm dying to get back to one we really really need to get back to one so i hope in 2020 we do have one because we got a really good crew that comes out to that philly show i mean we got a lot of people usually brian makes the trip down from new york uh andrew nuff said cards usually makes the trip from virginia there's always good stuff there too and I don't know about you guys, but it's cool to pick cards off of eBay and everything, but 
Going to a card show, you can really, I mean, I love going to card shows. I found some incredible cards for my collection via card shows, and it's just more exciting. So I really hope we get back to doing them on a larger scale in 2021. Cool custom here for the YouTube PC. All those stickers, hashtag Russo family. Awesome. Card crew, CFFL. Just sinks it on the back here. Ed, I hope you are doing well in these crazy times. Can't wait to hang out at the card show in 2021. Appreciate you, brother. Russo family, Spidey. That's awesome, Moranya. Thank you, man. And we got some shine in here. There's some Juan Soto. We got some Juan Soto numbered out of 209 tops winner. That is very cool. Beautiful card. Tops Home Run Challenge. This is sweet. We got Bryce Harper, numbered out of 424. Tops Home Run Challenge. Very nice. We got the Juan Soto from Gypsy Queen. This is the green. I believe these are the retail exclusives. So I think there may be like one, one or two per pack or something. They're, on, they're tough pulls, I do know that. JT Real Muto in the green. Nice. Wow, this is sweet. This is a Panini Prism. This is the blue, white, and red from 2020. Couldn't find this stuff anywhere. Juan Soto. Love that shine. Killa. Love it. Then we have the blue variation of the Home Run Challenge numbered out of 609 of Juan Soto. Man who saved baseball. And I'm so happy to see the hobby finally, finally show the man his due respect. I'm probably going to make a video on that later. Uh... Here's a Reese Hoskins home run challenge numbered out of 322. That's a video idea I definitely have on the back burner showing off some of my uh, Gem Mint 10 Juan Soto cards. But I just want to, you know, just talk about the trend in the hobby with Juan Soto and how much he has pretty much exploded, I would say, over the last month. It's really, really crazy what's going on with his cards in particular. But that is awesome. Loving, loving this shine. Loving these inserts. Speaking of shine and inserts, good God. This is numbered out of 25. This is from Mosaic. We got a Julius Irvin, Dr. J. Killer, numbered out of 25. Right there, 5 of 25. We have a nice pink Dr. J. Hall of Fame Mosaic. Mosaic's such a beautiful product. I can see why people were throwing fisticuffs at Target and Walmart over blaster boxes of this stuff. But really, really cool. Then from Mosaic as well, we got a rookie of Matisse Thibold. Who's... Uh, I kind of hope Doc Rivers gives him more time, more minutes on the, on the court. So far, he hasn't play too much. I mean, he's great defensively, so I'm kind of hoping Doc will put him out there more. MVPs, Will Chamberlain, the green. Sweet. Then we have, this is cool, Will to Win insert. Great insert there. Will to Win of the process, Joel Embiid. Very, very nice. TTP. Oh, wow. I did not have this guy's card. Uh, this is really, really cool. My first Randy Arazarena, Topps Chrome rookie. Couldn't get Topps Chrome anywhere around here. That is sweet. My first Arazarena rookie. 
And then to top it all off, yes, this card is awesome. Love it. And uh, Aranya collects Bo Bichette, but he knows this is probably, in, in my opinion, this is the best rookie uh, that Bo Bichette has. It's the Stadium Club rookie of Bo Bichette. That photography is insane. Beautiful shot there. In my opinion, that is his best rookie. Just love the design of that card. Love the photography with the clear skies. Sky's the limit. And Bo Bichette there. That is incredible card. So, Scotty Aranya, thank you so much, man. Way too much. Really, really awesome package. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'm telling you, I hope, I hope, I'm praying that we can get to the Philly show in February or September or just one time this year. Just one time, get a little back to a little normalcy and get to a, a decent sized card show. That would be awesome. But thank you very much. And then next, this package kind of had an adventure. Uh, this package is coming from Robert, Little Mr. Hardcore. And I didn't know this package was coming, and he sent me a message asking me if I received it. And I said, no, I didn't. Here it got delivered to the wrong house on my block. Neighbors held it for uh, like 24 hours, and then I had to get the mailman to uh, knock on their door to uh, get the package back. So that happened. But this was sent... Uh, December 9th and it was a priority mail today and I got it this week so that should just go to show you how backed up the USPS here is in Philly at the Philly hub this uh, priority mailbox literally sat for a grand old while so I'll get this opened up still probably should have opened this beforehand just to get all the tape off of here but I'll do the cutting Get this off. We got a note. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here by the looks of it. Game of Thrones, the Seven Kingdoms are yours. Wow, that's... Ed got these and thought of you. They were open when I got them, plus they are extra greeting cards. Do with them what you want. Hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas. Little Mr. Hardcore Winter is coming too. That's a freaking awesome. Look at that, the Iron Throne. Folds up. That is really, really cool. I don't know where you got these from. I've never seen these before, but... Popcraft, HBO. Yeah, I've never seen these before. Very, very cool. That is awesome. Included the Little Mr. Hardcore sticker for the YouTube PC. Thank you, Robert. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So let's get this opened up we got more of these greeting cards I can send out and I probably will send out a, a couple of these this is cool and we have looks like we have a white walker here a little John Snow Funko Pop keychain. Very sweet. Put that right there. We have these. Look at that. The Night King. These are the vinyl figures, the Titan vinyl figures. Put that right there, right in front of Gandalf. They look like this, the 
Winner is Here collection, Titan vinyl figures. So this is probably from like the last season. I think like Barnes and Noble sells these. I haven't seen these at Target. And we got Jon Snow. McQueen. This was kind of like the only thing he said in season eight. vinyl figures never seen these ones before but we have Daenerys that's cool nice uh, nice detail on the figure put that right there this was the box that it came in we have the White Walker. So this is from the product line that it's from. Very cool. And we have the White Walker from season one, two, and three, I think, the early seasons. that thing to stand up comes with a spear his spear so it was also in there Daenerys Targaryen house Targaryen fire and blood impervious to fire so very very cool did not have any of these very very neat Robert so thank you so much for sending that my way hooking up the Game of Thrones PC I still remember when you sent those banners of uh, Stannis Baratheon and uh, House Stark, so I still have those hanging up. Very, very cool. So, thank you very much, little Mr. Hardcore Robert. And uh, I'm gonna leave the links down below for everyone I mentioned in the video uh, Scotty Aranya, uh, little Mr. Hardcore, Mike Go, you know the drill. Uh, so, thanks guys for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Hope everyone out there is doing well and stay safe, fellas. So, have a great one. Take care. Winter is coming.